Okay guys, so today is the day for my house closing. Uh, I'm outside my house and I'm just going to do the final walk around and I'm waiting for my real estate agent to get, provide me the, the code so I can unlock the door and, and look for the last time before I go to closing. Right now it's 11.30 a.m. and my closing is at 1 p.m. and then after that I'm going to go to work and then come back and then you know probably just well I can't really sleep here because there's nothing here though but probably tomorrow I'm gonna be uh, moving uh, my stuff you know my bed maybe my bed um, my um, just things that like are not need like I don't need in my parents house so we'll see so we're inside my house um, this is the final walk around. I'm going to make sure everything's like how I first saw it before I go to closing. And then once the paperwork's done, hopefully everything goes well. I can get my key. And finally, I'm a homeowner. But you know, for now, I'm going to turn behind the camera so you guys can see how my uh, little home will look. It's just a one bedroom home with a uh, full basement. Okay guys, this is when you get in from the front door. As you walk in, this is the type of flooring and then the hardwood uh, wood floors for the uh, living room. That's gonna be the master bedroom, my bedroom. And then to my left, it's going to be, I guess you can see like a, kind of like an office type area room. I mean, that's where I can put my, you know, my bills and my computer, my, um, you know, my personal documents. Not a good idea because there's no door, but. <sighs> um, to my left, like I said, my bedroom is going to be the main one and the only one. And there's, a, there's that cool uh, fan, but there's no light, unfortunately. That's uh, the closet. In my 25 years of age, that is a heat, that is the most biggest closet I've ever had in my life. But I'm not complaining. I'm glad. I'm happy. I don't know what this is. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out later. But yeah, this is the bedroom. I'm trying to give you guys a good. Uh, come on, focus. I want to paint this room like a matte white and I will replace the floor with carpet in the future you know right now I'm just trying to settle in that's a wardrobe that I got for free I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it I don't know where I'm going to put it I'm probably gonna give it to my mom if she wants it because I have no idea where to put it um, this you see this is the uh, Living room, probably going to put like a sofa, my coffee table, and I don't know if I'm going to put my TV over there or over there, probably over there because, you know, when we're watching TV, I don't want distractions, I mean, the windows are there, right, but there's not a distraction, and if I put it here, people can like go to my, you know, I can go to my room, and then like if I have my brother's watching the movie they might be distracted or somebody goes to the bathroom they might get distracted so forget that I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably kinda put it over here behind that wardrobe that wardrobe is gonna go um, this is the bathroom the there's no mirror I have to buy a new mirror and that's not straight is it? it's not straight um, I'm gonna need to get a curtain. But yeah, it's pretty uh, solid bathroom, pretty big. Happy with that. Okay, 
<clears throat> this is the kitchen. Uh, pardon me. This is the um, refrigerator they included. It did not work, but they gave me $500 of credit so I can buy my new one. Buy myself a new one or a, a good used one. And there's no stove. Um, the kitchen looks fairly fairly uh, remodeled. Um, new floors. The cabinets are like a cherry red. You can't really tell on the camera, but yeah, it looks like, like a cherry red. And I love the, the counter. And I guess this area should be, you know, like a, where you can put like a little table for like two people or something and you can eat or maybe even four you know I'm not sure maybe you know depending on the table size and the chair size we can probably figure that out uh, going down is the basement but before that I'm gonna show you guys the uh, the patio so you know so this, is, this leads to the back door no, oh, this to the patio, sorry. No. That's my backyard. I have my neighbors over there. Or my future neighbors, I should say. They have a bigger house than me, fuck. And there's the door to go to the, to the driveway. Let me, see, let me just show you guys real quick. See? That's good. Look, this is the back. You know, pretty loud, but amazingly, when you're inside the house, you don't hear a thing because they replaced all windows. See, that's my Civic. Glad it's all fenced. I don't want you know, you know, people to get in or whatever. Or people to see me. You can barely hear me because of the guy's cutting his grass. Uh, yeah, this now we can go to we can go to the uh, basement. Furnace, the boiler. Uh, I think those are the circuit breakers. Yeah, that's the circuit breaker. How how do I even get to them? Am I supposed to squeeze in there? I don't even fit. I'm fat. Um, this is where the dryer and the washer is supposed to be. I guess they didn't include that, so I have to buy my own. God damn. I guess this is supposed to be another room. Like this room's way bigger, but that pole in the middle just fucks it up. That pole in the middle just ruins it. My dad told me like we can take this off and put it on this, cause there's already one right there behind that wall. So if we put it here and then we cover up with some drywall, we can go over it and it'll be on the wall. It's not that that's stupid. In the middle, it's stupid, you know. But and then. You know, this is supposed to be a bathroom, but I guess they didn't finish it. Because there's no, um, it, you can't even wash your hands here. I guess it's supposed to be here. It's just a shower. Um, whoever remodeled or did this, they, they used like cheap material, you know. They didn't even do the whole thing. Oh, there you go. Those are the breakers. Okay. So I don't have to squeeze in there. I guess they included these little mats. That's cool. That's nice. Um, but yeah, you know, for me by myself, I think it's better than perfect because it's just me. I don't, I don't really need a lot of space because I don't have a lot of things. Um, but I have to buy a new fridge 
like as soon as I can, as soon as I move in, because that one don't work. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna put the key back. Yeah, guys, so that's pretty much it. Cherry red door. My front, uh, my front yard. My neighbors. Cars behind me, loud as hell. Let me get in my car. Yeah guys, so that's pretty much it. Um, let me just give you one more uh, look on the outside. That's pretty much the outside. It's black, white, and there's red, you know, with red rails and red door. Kinda like, I like the combination of the colors, you know? It's, it's something like, it matches me. But yeah, anyways. Um, one more hour and I go to closing. And then, um, we take it from there. I hope, I hope everything goes well. And, you know, let's start a new chapter in my life. 25 years of age. And we'll see if we can make the best of this. All right? Hey, guys. It's been a busy two days. I've been moving out, moving in. Um, the whole process, it's a struggle, a lot of stress. I went to um, Valley City and I bought, you know, I bought uh, furniture, I bought a bed set and coffee table, coffee table set, also bought a fridge and stove. Everything was um, affordable. Fortunately, uh, right now I'm just trying to take everything out. Uh, my TV is I'm gonna say that for last because it's a, a big item. And then my uh, my computer desk and my computer and all that paper and my other uh, portable drawer and that TV with the monitors. I'm just gonna leave it here for um, for just my parents so they can just. So they could just like monitor the home. I mean, I did purchase the security cameras, but you know, they could just keep it. I don't care. I'll buy my own in the future. But other than that, everything is almost. I'm almost there. There's huge. There's a lot of boxes to load and unload. But you know, I'm gonna keep you posted. So stay tuned. Right now, I'm um, proceeding to paint, so you know I'm I'm gonna take it slow, okay? Cause there's a lot to paint. I already finished my room. You know you can't really see it, and then there's no light. I'm only like using the light from the outside, and then there's lamps. But you know, I painted it white or like a creamish white. It looks good, maybe because it's creamish white but um, my living room is going to be like a cherry red and um, and I'm gonna paint my kitchen another color and then my my small office my bathroom those are four rooms the kitchen has a lot of walls um, it, it goes to the when you go down the basement there's more I have to paint that I mean it's gonna look dumb if I don't paint the whole thing you know so I have to paint everything but that's gonna take a while I mean I'm going to try to finish the living room at least today and I'm gonna take I'm gonna take those uh, the, the the mounts take them off and paint on top and, and cover the like you know where the, where the windows when the windows are at so it won't look you know um, crappy so it's gonna look a little bit more better this one 
this one guys I'm painting this area specifically right now because um, I'm gonna mount my TV there and my entertainment system or my entertain them my entertainment system here and at t I'm gonna come install the cable and internet all that stuff so I'm gonna like get ready for this so they can just come and install it without you know putting it on and then have to take it off and then have to put it on again so I just you know make sure everything is ready um, put some cardboard so I don't get paint on the wall um, my uh, small office is not that big of a deal it's a small like room so you know the ceiling is going to stay the same I'm gonna have to tape this or probably not because it's already in it. Tomorrow or or Monday, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm gonna be tired after today, so I'm gonna take you know to rest, and then Monday I'll start on the kitchen. Or maybe no no no, I'll start on the bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom's not that big, you know. It's just this wall up, this, and that's pretty much it, you know. Because yeah, I'm not paying that. It's gonna be like a caramel brown. It's gonna look nice. You'll see. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not gonna this is not a how to do video so it's just gonna I'm gonna paint and then we'll see what, what we can do from there hey guys now it's been you know a month a month and a week after the video that was uh, recorded before this one and I'm gonna like had a chance to settle in um, you know uh, organize my furniture my bills my schedules it's more like it's more calm now than before because everything was in the air you know I, I just wasn't I, I wasn't adjusted yet but now I'm more adjusted it's more calm or everything is at its place it's easy for me to um, you know is it easy for me to find everything without you know me thinking where I left it except for one uh, one thing the Amazon fire stick I'm trying to, I'm trying to find it I have no idea where is where is that I I, I unpacked every uh, box and I couldn't find it maybe it's in um, you know my uh, my dad's house I'm not sure but I'm trying to use it for the garage because I'm gonna have a TV in the garage but till then I guess there's no fire stick in the garage but but yeah, guys, let's get to the to my house, how it's at. Okay. As you guys can see or remember, this is the front door. And the walls were uh, uh, cream, creamish. This is how it looks now. October 13th, 2019. Is it October 13th? Yeah, it is. Okay. In there is my office. That's where I do my bills, you know, personal stuff. See, and my my areas. That's my desk. You know, write bills. Uh, busy schedules, what I have to do, a certain date, um, this is like kind of my, you know, decorative section, this is like, like the things I had in my room, I didn't want to put it in the living room because that's, that, that's, that's just silly, I don't want no one to see, you know, it's just my private area, my printer, some old mail from my previous uh, address I bought that fan because in here it was really hot when I was doing you know bills and stuff but then like the weather just changed you know you know, like very very drastically and now it's uh I don't have never opened it because it's so cold outside uh, you got my posters that I had in my room 
But yeah, guys, this is the main thing is this, you know. That's that's where I keep my uh, DVDs. I have some PS2 games. Currently have a PS2 only. Uh, I bought an Xbox One. It's on the way from um, where is it? Um, Pennsylvania. Bought it brand new, two seventy five. It was a good deal. I couldn't let it, I couldn't let it go. And besides, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to buy some new games for the Xbox One, and I have some time for myself. But you know, yeah, this is my uh, solo chair that I got. Very comfortable. And then that's uh, the long one. I I usually like take naps there, or when my family comes, we watch movies and they just sit there. My coffee table. And then that's my, my nightstand or whatever it's called. You know, I'm 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 really new to these guys to these uh, furniture names. I I've never bought furniture, so I don't really know. This is just a coffee table set. I got that one, and I got that one, and then this one. Let's call it the coffee table buddies. You gotta protect yourself at all times. Have yourself a security system. I got the Ufi security. Two cameras outside. This is my room. Okay, before I start, it did not have carpet. It did not have a a fan with a light. It just had a fan. Everything I bought that dresser, bought that chair, bought that nightstand, the humidifier, the lamp, the wireless speaker, the digital clock, that white horse poster, those little white uh, lights, bought the bed sheets, I bought this furry white rug, and I bought the white bed frame. Oh, and the curtain. Um, and then I, I put two. Uh, mirrors on the wall I heard that uh, it's bad luck to like for have like to have mirrors facing you when you sleep I don't even know if it is, if you guys believe in that and it's true let me know if that's happened to you because everybody keeps telling me not to do that but I mean I don't want to take them off already you know it's it's a pain and I like them there because you know I get to see myself every time like I get dressed, how I look before I head out. Um, this is the bathroom. By, by the way guys, this was uh this is like a cherry red, like I told you guys. Like a dark cherry red. And from 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 my perspective, like in, in person, I think I could have done better, but I just hope it looks alright for the people that come and see. This is my bathroom. And that's me. I like to keep everything organized. You know, I don't want like dirty. Like, I don't want clothes all over the place. I want everything to be at its place. You know, I need to get a, another plastic bag for for that. Uh, I bought that from Big Lots. Uh, so fresh, so clean. It was like how much? Like nine dollars. Um, and I bought this curtains too from Menards. I don't remember how much that was, but I thought it was really cool. It's like a city. It looks pretty cool. Uh, and I bought this too. I was originally gonna put that on here, but you know, I heard that you have to like drill, or, like open the wall and put it in. And I'm like, nah, I don't even, I don't, I don't care for that. It's too much work and for what, you know, like, I mean, it's cool because you can put things inside of it. Like, like, for example, all this can be inside, but, you know, I don't, I don't care, you know, it's whatever. And, and then when, when, when I put it, it's so long that it's like over here and then you see how there's a gap, you know, there's, it's not going to be flat. So, I mean, how are we going to do that? But yeah, guys, I have my area here, you know. I have my toothbrushes, my uh, soap bars, Colgate, some uh, air fresheners, my 
wireless speaker when I want to hear music, my gloves when I want to clean the bathroom, stuff like that. Oh, and plastic bags. Speaking of a plastic bag, yeah, I'm going to do that right now. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the bathroom. Uh, and then these lights turn on by just touching it. Pretty cool. Um, this is my fridge. They provided me with a fridge that did not work, but they promised me $500 of credit. But the thing is, this fridge wasn't $500, it was $897 retail, and plus tax was, you know, around $1,000. But, you know, it, it's whatever, you know, I, I needed a new fridge anyway. I wasn't gonna uh, get the or keep the one that was here and try to fix it when I don't even have you know ice this dispenser or water so what's the point rather just buy a new one and I don't want I don't like you know the doors I like fringe doors I don't like the ones that are like from the middle like there's one door and then the one in, in the bottom is the freezer I don't like those I never really I never really was a fan of those I bought myself a a microwave this stove I bought it it was like 400 something don't remember how much exactly but it was around 400 in that area they didn't prom they didn't provide me with a stove I had to get my own just whatever my dad gave me uh, my blender I bought my own a toaster then I never had a you know my mom well, my mom never had a kitchen uh, knife set so I want to get one and you know I love coffee so I had to buy my own coffee maker and then my own dish rack uh, I need to wash those uh, um, these gloves came from uh, the garage I was cleaning it don't mind that guys but this is my Mac the reason I put my MacBook or my iMac here is because sometimes when I want to um, you know cook and make uh, new new meals for myself I wanna like you know get a tutorial cuz I'm not really good at cooking I've never done it before not really but I need uh, to learn and that's the way I see I, I, it's, I see better off the sc uh, this screen than my phone so that's why I leave it here let me show you what I have inside guys you know, the old basics still not stacked up really cuz you know I barely even need anything and then my freezer no, basic. Uh, my aunt gave me that um, uh, Nuchi Ninja for my smoothies, but you know I never really had a chance to open it. And if I did, I don't even know where to put it. Unfortunately, I mounted up this TV there, you know, because I, I I really don't want to take food over there, because then my my sofa stink, or sometimes. You know, I can drop food in the on the floor or on the on the sofa or you know spill things and then you know it gets worse. So you know I rather just keep have a TV here, have my Apple TV up there, and watch uh, you know YouTube, Netflix, whatever. And then you know I only have four chairs. I have uh, my con my uh, fruit container like here because there's there's lots of um, fruit flies you know there's fruit flies somewhere over there and every time you know last time I left them there they were all over my fruit so I just decided to take it off take it off there and put it in there and it seems to be working but that's pretty much it guys you know basement Nothing, you know, nothing really special about it. But maybe one day in the in the future, I will, um, you know, hire a contractor and you know, fix up the basement. It's bigger, you know. Like when you go over there, there's a bathroom over there, but it's just a shower and uh, um, a toilet. 
But I think that was supposed to be a master bedroom or something. I have no idea because there's, there's, it's not even when you walk. There's like no steps, so you might fall if you don't like look careful. You know, look carefully. You know. Uh, but yeah, about the paint, guys. This was uh, uh what, what you, you know, what would you call it? I don't really know the color, but you know, I just I forgot. They, you know, they give you the name of the uh, of the of the color of, of the paint in the card when you choose the color. I forgot exactly, but it looks like a like a light brownish orangish. I have no idea. Something like that. And this is this is like a chocolate brown. I combine them so it can like kind of like look good for the kitchen, cause I I wasn't trying to make the you know the same color all around you know. Like had to be common combination, you know. This one's light brown, dark brown, you know. Like this one too, light brown, dark brown. And then I didn't paint over there because um, I don't have a ladder to go all the way up there. I could have borrowed one, but I just left it like that because there's, you know. I painted this whole place by myself. I, paint, I painted the office, the whole living room, my room, the bathroom, the kitchen. But myself, I did it by myself with my own two hands. And I did it in like in less than a week. And it was, I, I swear, it was struggling. I was struggling to the point where I just wanted to give up. But, you know, um, maybe one day I'll paint this area uh, brown. But right now, you know, I had to have to move the, I have to move the fridge too. Right now, I, I don't care. You know, I'm just, I don't care. I, I'm happy how it is now. I'll leave it like this for a while, and then maybe in the future, <laughs> it, we will uh, think about a color or think about painting it again. Cut my grass right now. And then those neighbors are are loud as hell they have like five dogs four kids and they'd be waking up since like 7 a.m. and in, in Saturdays and I'm, I'm barely sleeping because I come home around 4 a.m. and I'm like I wake up to their noise yeah guys this is my backyard I, paint, uh, I, I just cut the grass and that's my garage I'm trying to um like really customize my garage from the inside like making my own man cave because like I'm not trying to like fit two cars in there because I need one to go to work and I'm not trying to go inside the garage and go outside and close it and you know every day so I'm just gonna leave one outside and one inside and I don't know if you guys can see but that's my uh, Yuffie cam like it sees everything from the driveway up and if it, if it senses motion like human motion it will alert me like my phone and the home alarm base that I just showed you guys you guys should really check that out it's very useful very uh, it's very dependable even if you're at work it'll get you it'll send you a notification and that way you know you can send someone to see to come see your house or you know you call the police or whatever uh, well, depending on your area, you know, if you, if, you, if you live in a good area, then don't worry about it. There's a lot of spiderweb here. But yeah, guys, this is my uh, patio. I'm, trying to, I'm still trying to get my patio set. So you can watch, you know, we can like do fun stuff with my brothers. And I'm trying to uh, um, make a fire pit somewhere over there. Or I'm not sure, maybe here. I don't know. I need to think about that. And then this is my um, my um, front of the house. I don't even know who built this uh, fence. I don't know if it, if it if it was them, but this is basically um, my area, though. All this mulch. I don't know why they couldn't uh, replace this with with something else, like rocks or something. It's like a big area for pretty much nothing. <laughs> that little ladybug. Didn't even know it was there. 
But yeah, guys, this uh, that fence right there connects to the garage. I'm trying to um, um, tear it down and build one like towards the other side of my driveway because that's like on my survey, that's my basically my area, everything's my property. So I don't know why the the dude before me put the the fence here and it's, a, it's not even the normal size fence it's a small fence I have no idea why they did that but you know I'm gonna tear it down put it all the way over there like a new one not me but you know a professional to put it all the way over there connect it to my garage and go all the way all the way up to my front um, close to my front porch and then have a door so I can open and, and close it you know But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for now. You know, let me know what you guys think. It's a it's a one bedroom, well, two two bedroom, if you want to call it, because you know there's uh, another bedroom down there, but that's not usable. I mean, nobody uses it. I'm just here by myself. I live here by myself, and I'm so far. It's been a big. It's a. It's been a pretty exciting ride but stressful ride because you know as you buy a new house more bills come in with the house not just the mortgage and there's more responsibilities you get to buy your own groceries you get to wash your own clothes you get to do everything on your own you know you just depend on yourself and it would be easier if you had a you know a wife you know but you know I'm barely 25 and I don't have a wife nor ever plan to get one because there's no good woman out there like not in my area at least and I can't I don't even have time to travel but forget about that that's that's, that's whatever um, but yeah guys so far that's what I'm living today let me know any comments um, questions you have leave them down below in the comment section and maybe one day I'll go back to you know building cars because right now it's it's tough you know it's I'm trying to get everything together for my house first and then and then the cars come but no don't worry though this is my channel this is what I do cars all I care about is the cars but right now it's just my house you know my house is the priority but yeah I'm gonna let you guys go take good care of yourselves and I hope I'll see you to the next video thanks guys peace